Hi, Martin Seguin for Let's Talk About Wood. Today I'm going to show you how to do a 3D piece on the CNC. This look quite complicated, but honestly it's not if you have the right tool. First tool you need is a CNC. Whatever brand you have, whatever model, it is going to work. I'm, I did it on a 3018, uh, what I call a BBCNC. Uh, the video is over here, just not sure if it's in English. But anyway, I was able to do 3D carving on that small CNC machine. So whatever you have, it's going to work. Second thing you need is a piece of wood. I'm using maple over here, a hard wood is better. Uh, but whatever wood you're going to use is going to work. Maybe the result is not going to be as nice as you think. So, wood. Third thing you need, third thing you need, is two bits. One, one quarter, one eighth of an inch square to do the rough pass. And a, uh, a very small ball bit in order to do the finish. Uh, smaller you can, this is a 132. Uh, ball nose, you see the shape, very good for carving. That's what I am using. Fourth thing you need is a STL file, a 3D file. You can buy them, I'm, I'm buying them on Etsy, you can do it yourself, whatever. You need a STL file to do those 3D shapes. And the fifth thing, the last one, is a good software. I am using Carbide Create, not the free version because it's not able to do 3D. I'm using the pro version. Uh, around 100 bucks US it's very uh, a software that I can say easy to use and it can do those 3d shapes really easily talking about that let's go see at the computer I am using carbide create the pro version and uh, the build right now is the 778 by the way there is version 8 that is in beta right now and the uh, uh, upload of STL file is a little bit different, but uh, let's go see. For the paid version, I'm paying 120 per year. It's US money, or you can buy a perpetual version at 360 where you have an update for one year. I prefer to go year by year because I like to have the most updated version. In Carbide Create, uh, what you have to do is to, first of all, what we want to do is create this in wood. But in order to be able to build that, I need a STL file that I bought on Etsy. There is a lot of file you can create yourself, by the way. It's because it's cheap. That's where I'm going. That STL file, I'm looking at it in 3D Builder. This is a Windows 11 software when you can look at your 3D creation and make sure that it's fine. In Carbide Create, first step, we are going to create the board I'm going to use. Here you see the size and it's 19 inch uh, deep. Next step is to import the STL file. In the Pro version, we have that uh, button that does not exist uh, in the regular version. While it's uh, uploading, when it's uploaded, you see the gray version. It's like a small pictures. Two parameters are very interesting. First of all, the height. I'm going to put 12 millimeter. This is my carving. I want it to be 12 millimeter high. Next uh, parameter is the depth, the Z depth that I want to make sure that I'm not touching. It will be 7 millimeter. And when you add them, it's 19 like the board. Small representation with the, the, the 3D. Uh, you can see that the file look good and it's doing the job it's supposed to do. Uh, next step, uh, by the way, the import is all done. That's it. Next step is the toolpath. The, there is two toolpath to create. The first one is the 3D rough. And I'm going to do that with uh, a bit that is a quarter inch. Uh, it's an end mill, one quarter inch. And it's going to remove as much, much at the, uh, as it can in order to go faster. So this is where I'm uh, saving a little bit of time. Four millimeter deep and everything else looks fine. 
uh, and it's going to leave 0 0.5 millimeter for the other bit to complete the job. In fact, that other bit is the 3D finish toolpath. Uh, so I'm going on it and I'm going to select my smallest ball bit that I have. It's a 132 uh, bit here, ball mail, the 121. I'm going to say to go, uh, oh, by the way, that step over is the most important thing. You have to put around 15% width, the width of the width of your bit. So in my case, it will be 0 0.15 millimeters since my bit is around 0 0.8. I want to remove only 0 0.15. If you go larger than that, you might see a uh, line at the bottom of your creation. So 0 0.15 and go a little bit faster, 1,000 millimeter. This is fine. Uh, all good. So now it's going to calculate how long it's going to take in order to do that pass. It's going to be 92 minutes. Let's look at the simulation. And with Cherry like this, it's not that clean at, uh, as I like. So I'm going to change to uh, Beach and remove everything else. Wow, this is what I want. Great. By the way, the full complete work of doing 3D on your CNC is all done. When I'm zooming over here, I can see the small line that the 0 0.15 step over is going to leave. But by, uh, believe me, it's not going to show. Uh, so yes, the 3D is completely done. But I do have a problem. It's going to leave wood around it. And I want to put it down a little bit and making sure that my carving is in the middle of my board and I can look at it more cleanly. So I'm uh, putting a square around it. And I'm selecting the square and the 3D file. And I'm going to do a pocket around it. So pocket. And I'm going back with the 1 quarter inch to remove. Uh, exactly 12 millimeter now here I'm selecting the 201 one quarter up cut uh, remove four millimeter at a time everything else is fine and go down 12 millimeter like I said I'm going to use the ramping ramping is a feature for the pro version making sure that your bit is going into the wood smoothly great calculation fine but when I look at this simulation, I see that there is spot that is not being done. Why? Because the bit is too big to fit in there. So I'm going to show you another feature of the Pro version, which is rest meshing. I will select exactly the same pocket uh, as it was before. But now I'm going back with the 132 inch uh, ball bit in order to remove everything else. Here, hardwood, great. Go down one millimeter at a time. Everything else is fine, well, almost. Good, and uh, here is 12 millimeter, yes. Here is where I'm, I'm clicking on the rest machining. And this is where I'm putting the bit that was used before to do exactly the same place, which was this, the one quarter, six point something millimeter. And see, the path, the tool path now that it created is to go where the one quarter was not able to go and when I look at this simulation you can see now that it's more clean and this is exactly where I want to go perfect next step will be to save the tool path uh, in different file uh, in fact because I'm using carbide motion I can save the tool path directly in the carbide create file it's saving time and it's because I'm running a shape poco that I can use that software. For everybody else, ah, here's my, my CNC, by the way, my shape poco. For everybody else, you will need to create uh, one uh, toolpath file per bit. And uh, you will need, uh, in order to simplify your work, reorder the toolpath over here. Put all the one quarter together and then the 132 together. It's going to save you time and you will have only two toolpath file to, to go through it. Here you see me reorganizing my toolpath. It's as simple as drag and drop in order that in the order that you want it. 
As of a final step, let's watch the uh, final simulation with everything going through. You can see uh, all the steps going on one after the other. And we see that it's creating from the bottom to the top, going left to right. The bit is removing the wood in order to reveal the nice beast that is in there. Perfect. All done, let's go to the CNC machine. Okay, let's run it. The piece of wood is ready. Let's start. Okay, let's look at this fantastic machine. So it's doing the first step of uh, the pocket around it. It did it, and now it's doing the rough path in order to remove as much uh, wood as it can in order to leave the finished path with as less wood as it can. So the next step, oh, by the way, carbide motion, you can look at it, you have your estimate, how long it's going to take. On the left, you see where it is, what it's doing. And on the right, you have some button where you can accelerate or go faster or slowlier in order to adjust to whatever is going on on your machine. This is the final finishing pat with the 132 bit. Uh, it's going from left to right. You see the Z axis uh, going through the, the picture by itself, the, 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 3D, uh, the 3D file. Uh, so it's starting at the bottom, going to the top one after the other, and each movement from left to right is at 0 0.15 millimeter, like I said in my setup. And now the last tool pad, uh, the uh, rest machining with the 132 bit, uh, removing whatever the one quarter did not. Here it is, completely done. Easy, really easy to do. So. Now I will set myself for another one. If you are, uh, if you like the kind of video I'm making, please uh, join the channel. And if you have any comments, uh, tips, uh, whatever you have to say about the, the video, please write it down in the comment. Thank you.